hello to all you Five Points fans and CAST fans out there. Uh, we've had a CAST program going uh, here at Flora Hall since we opened the bar back in 2017 and customers love it. Customers and the brewers don't always agree on what makes a great cask beer. Um, I'm kind of a purist as is uh, Rod and, and his, uh, his brewing team, but customers typically love the addition of things to the cask. So we've done some over the years that uh, you know replicate cocktails. So we'll take a sour and we'll add tequila and lime and salt into that cask. And those are the types of things that really uh, drive a lot of excitement. <laughs> One of the things that our customers love about our cask program is that we do it out in the bar area and it provides a little bit of entertainment, in particular when you're adding things that provide a source of fermentation and so on, you, you, can, uh, you can have quite a surprise when you tap that, uh, tap that cask. <laughs> Across Ontario, there's quite a lot of interesting casks. There's one brewery in Waterloo actually that runs a uh, an annual event, Cask Days. We've had it on our list, but it's it's quite a distance. I mean, for people in the UK, it's about a thousand miles from here, so it's a fair distance, even though it's in the same province as we are. It's just good to see that particular style of beer uh, take root here in, in Canada. Yeah, uh, making casks is. Uh... You know, a fun experience, um, a lot of work goes into them. The really cool thing is you get to uh, experiment with some uh, interesting ingredients. Personally, uh, my favorite casks are more t traditional styles um, that you would find in England. So yeah, I kind of want to bring that back here to Ottawa. I guess it's just uh, it's kind of a fun time here at the pub, like we throw them on on uh, Friday afternoons. Um, you know, it, there's always something different. Um, customers like seeing us tap the casks, uh, you know, there's unlimited things you can do with casks. Um, you know, you'll see a lot of uh, IPAs with uh, candies in them and stuff like that. And uh, we did a, a stout with Lucky Charms in it. And uh, to be honest, it tasted pretty good. It's a thing of beauty, right?